Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah Azza wa Jalla says in the Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kutiba alaykum al-siyam. Kutiba alaykum al-siyam kama kutiba ala al-ladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqoon. In this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that fasting has been prescribed for us as it was prescribed for those who came before us. لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So that perhaps you would have taqwa. Now this term taqwa is a term that a lot of people, you know, we translate it as God consciousness or fear of Allah or piety or righteousness. But for the majority of English speakers, they don't actually know what taqwa means. What does God consciousness mean? So I want to give you this analogy. If you've ever gone to like an ATM bank machine and as you're typing in your password and you're looking left, you're looking right, you're seeing, does anybody see me? And then there's a moment when you realize there's a camera staring right at you. And then this consciousness that you're being watched and photographed just comes over your whole body and it kind of like freezes you up. At that moment, you become conscious. Now, when we're talking about taqwa, God consciousness, it's that you understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees you. And because you understand that Allah Azza wa sees you, it, in, it makes you do what Allah commands you to do and stay away from what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forbids. And fasting is the best thing for that because nobody sees you if you broke your fast, yet your taqwa muscles are being built all throughout the month of Ramadan. This is Muhammad al-Sharif. Check out sharethekhair.org.